Hi, everybody. This is probably going to be a fairly short video, mostly because I want to get the word out about this new security vulnerability, which many of you on GDT may be exposed to. Hopefully you're not. The short of it is this. If you are currently using cursor, my strong recommendation is to stop. Uh, if you have to keep using cursor, my second recommendation is to ensure that workspace trust is enabled. As I understand it, by default, uh, the cursor team, for whatever reason, has disabled this. Let me try to give you some background on why this is a problem. When you're using cursor uh, with workplace trust turned off, it has the ability to auto execute code on your machine, and it can do this potentially silently. Therefore, if you just install Cursor and you start to look at repositories, Cursor can start to execute various things behind the scenes that could cause a variety of malicious behaviors. What makes this even worse is supposedly the Oasis research team has notified AnySphere and Cursor about this vulnerability, and Cursor has refused to uh, enable the workplace trust or essentially make this feature opt in rather than opt out, which is what it currently is. I want to give you a small amount of background on this. There are many things that we do on computers that are potentially malicious. And when we're interacting with uh, folks that we trust, we can lower our guard and know that things are potentially going to be safe. For example, when you get emails, you may notice that if you've never received emails from a certain sender, Outlook or Gmail or other systems will by default not download those images. Part of the reason why is that you can embed execution behavior inside of things like JPEGs. The same is true with Excel and spreadsheets, which is why when you open up Excel, especially new spreadsheets, it will often say, we have disabled script running by default. Would you like to turn this on? This is what cursor should be doing, but for some reason they are not. This is exposing you to massive amounts of vulnerabilities. I don't know how else to say this, but this is a terrible decision by cursor. This is exposing lots of people to vulnerabilities. And now that this has been made public, uh, there are people out there that are likely going to take advantage of this. So you should act immediately to my, my strong recommendation. In fact, this has just become mandated at Merley that no one at Merley uh, can even have cursor installed on their machines. Part of the reason for that is very simple, is that this is a very clear security violation and a, a violation of trust. What makes it worse is that cursor has been made aware of this and they have chosen to not disable this therefore if we know that this exists what else could also potentially exist with cursor my speculation is this is not a one-off there are likely other things like various things going on with mcp now you're welcome to do whatever it is that you want to do but as someone that's worked in the space of software and security for some time my strong recommendation is to stop using cursor completely uh, short of that to minimally enable that workplace trust is enabled and and make sure that you uh, spread the word so all the friends that you have your colleagues that might be using cursor uh, don't get their machines or their cloud or their entire workspace compromised with the vulnerabilities that this is exposing us to I'm going to keep this again short and simple. So hopefully that's enough. I'll drop a link to the article on Oasis security, but this is hopefully, uh, if you Google this, you'll see a bunch of things on the internet. Uh, let's hopefully get the word out and get this, uh, fixed at least for, for those of us that, uh, can, can share with others as fast as possible. Thanks everybody. And, uh, Godspeed.